It's the international break and with two weeks without United, it gives us the opportunity to look forward and discuss some issues at Manchester United. And one thing I want to discuss today is Man United's midfield and why I think Ruben Neves and signing him could make Man United's midfield one of the best in the league. Before I get into the video though, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there and subscribe if you are a regular. Make sure you hit that like button, it always helps. But let's get straight into it. Now the first thing to discuss here is what's really wrong with Manchester United's midfield? You know, we've got Paul Pogba, Ander Herrera, Nemanja Matic, we've seen Scott McTominay and Andreas Pereira come through, Fred, loads of midfielders in there. But why are there problems with the midfield? And for me, unfortunately, it all revolves around Nemanja Matic. Matic was a brilliant signing by Mourinho. You remember how good he was at the start when he played in the midfield too? Matic was sensational. Unfortunately, despite the fact that he's certainly improved under Solskjaer this season, has got better and better, he's dipped again. And I don't really think that Matic is capable of being the midfielder that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needs in this midfield three ever. Because now in this midfield three with Matic alongside Herrera with Popper just in front at the moment, there's not enough movement from Matic. Under Mourinho, he was very much a, a screening type midfielder. He would sit in front of the back four, get the ball, pass it on. He was an enabler, a defensive midfielder, somebody who broke up the play but didn't do much more. And it worked under Mourinho. But under Solskjaer, it's just not working. And for me, Matic is a big problem in midfield. Let's take a look at Matic's stats for Manchester United this season, which sort of back up my point. Going to look on the OneFootball app. Thank you very much, OneFootball, for sponsoring this video. If you haven't got it already, it's free. It's a fantastic football app. Seriously, you need to do it. But let's take a look at his stats. Now, this season, the man in Matic has won his fair share of tackles. He's got a decent passing range on him. But the stat for me that sums up why the man in Matic doesn't suit this Manchester United team is the fact that He's got twice as many clearances as interceptions. Matic, as a defensive midfielder, is more reactionary than preventative. And by that I mean, you remember Michael Carrick in his pomp? He wouldn't ever really have to make a tackle because he'd intercept the ball first. He'd stop the pass from getting to the other player. Matic isn't really like that. He's more of a last line type defensive midfielder, somebody who really screens in front of the back four and doesn't stop the opposition from making their attacks. He tries to stop the person from shooting. That's the wrong sort of midfielder that we don't need, I feel. I feel we need a midfielder with a hell of a lot more mobility and somebody who's going to try and break the play up rather than stopping the shot. What United need under Solskjaer is a more mobile midfielder who can play alongside Herrera and behind Paul Pogba. Somebody who is geared at preventing the attacks at the start rather than at the end. Somebody who can be a playmaker from deep. Somebody who can bring all that energy to midfield. And then you could fairly ask, why can't we solve it in the current squad? You know, Ander Herrera, he's been fantastic and certainly improved under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but he seems to be playing a different type of role in midfield. You've got Paul Pogba, he's played deeper before. He doesn't suit playing deeper. He plays better when he's playing further up the pitch. You've got Fred, hit and miss. Hasn't really worked with Fred. McTominay, he's been great when he's come in. Probably the best Matic type player that we've got in the squad but I don't think he's good enough to be starting week in, week out for Manchester United. I might be harsh in saying that, but let me know what you think. And Andres Pereira is certainly not that type of midfielder. So who could United sign to play alongside Herrera and, beh and behind Paul Pogba to be that deep line playmaker who also can break up the opposition? I genuinely think Ruben Neves could be that player. First things first here, it's important to note that this isn't just a knee-jerk reaction to Ruben Neves having a wonderful game against United at the weekend. It's also not a knee-jerk reaction to the fact that United have lost two games in a row. Ruben Neves has been fantastic for Wolves for coming up for two seasons now. And I admired him when he was at Wolves in the Championship. He got into the team of the year. Ruben Neves is a hell of a player. And he's only 22 and he's only going to get better. I and mean, just looking at his repertoire and what type of midfielder he is, he really does tick all the boxes for United. From a defensive point of view, Neves can break up the play and his movement is absolutely crucial to that. Let's take a look at his stats again on the one football lap. And the key standout stat here for me is the fact that Neves has got 62 interceptions to Matic's 28. Nearly three times as many interceptions. And that was what I was saying. Neves can be more like a Carrick in his pomp type of defensive midfielder. 
not someone who's going to be elbows out, scrapping for tackles, but someone who's so intelligent that he intercepts the pass before the attack happens and then has the ability to play out from the back. Because as good as Neves' movement is, and he can certainly bring that intensity to midfield, somebody who can press for 90 minutes, which certainly Matic can't do, he's too static. But Neves, as well as having that, he's a playmaker. And he's more known for his playmaking and his goal scoring than he is for his defensive work. But that's why he can be a full package. You saw his passing range against Manchester United. He was pinging it left and right to the wings, short and long. He's got a real range of passing. And in that sense, you could say he looks semi like Paul Scholes. I'm not saying that Ruben Neves is a new Paul Scholes, so don't try and say I am but you can see the similarities in his style. And certainly when it goes further up the pitch, because Neves is a hell of a player when it comes to shooting from outside the area. Wolves fans, as soon as Neves gets the ball within 40 yards of goal, they want him to shoot. And invariably he gets it on target. He's a hell of a player. He really, really is. And the more I've watched of him this season, the more I've admired him. And it's certainly, we saw that against United. He was comfortable in possession. Comfortable breaking United up. Just comfortable everywhere. It looked like he was just gracefully going through the game. And that's why I, just looking at him, can see him playing alongside Herrera and behind Paul Pogba and being that type of midfielder who can be a playmaker from deep. And we definitely need that because we can't have Paul Pogba dropping too deep to try and create the opportunities. What we need is Pogba receiving the ball in the opposition's half, not dropping into our half to get the ball himself. And with Matic and Herrera, he does that far too often. And that's when Pogba plays poorly. We need him further up the pitch and Neves could enable that. So Ruben Neves could be a defensive type midfielder who breaks up the opposition's play. A playmaker from deep who can ping balls out to the wings and start attacks. And he can be a threat from the edge of the box from corners or from when he's going forward as well. Why wouldn't you? When you say it like that, it makes complete sense to go for Ruben Neves. But I suppose the key question here, not for United fans, but for United, is how much would he cost? And the simple answer is a hell of a lot of money. Ruben Neves signed a new contract with Wolves last year after his fantastic season in the Championship, and he's only improved since then. Now, Wolves signed him for a club record 15 million when they signed him, but now, you I mean, you look at this article for the Times. The Times are suggesting that Wolves want in excess of £100 million pounds for Ruben Neves. That's a hell of a lot of money. But for United fans, we shouldn't really care how much a player is. You know, you could argue the toss left, right and centre, but it's pointless. I don't care how much United spend on a player, as long as we sign him. All I care about is the football I'm seeing on the pitch. So yes, Ruben Neves would be a lot of money, and sure, you could go and maybe sign Adrian Rabio from PSG, who might be available on a free, but Premier League proven Ruben Neves, for me, that would be the more ideal signing. Because what United need to do this summer and do correctly is buy smart. And that's not just a case of looking, seeing, oh, look, Bale's available, oh, Cruz is available, oh, Verratti's available. Don't look at big names just because it's a big name. That's what Woodward has done and failed at in the last few years. What United need to do is not like after we sold Ronaldo and signed three or four players. We need to sign key players in crucial weaknesses in the squad. And if that means paying a premium to fill that spot, then do it. Because just like Liverpool did when they got Van Dijk and they got Alisson, they had two key weaknesses in that squad. And they spent big on improving them as much as they possibly could. And it's worked for them. And yes, 100 million plus would be a fucking load of money for Ruben Neves, more than Paul Pogba. And he's half the player of Paul Pogba at this moment. But he's 22. He's got resale value for the club and he's born on 13th of March, which is my birthday. So automatically he's a better human being. But Ruben Neves on paper ticks a lot of the boxes, ticks every box for what United need in midfield. And for me, that's why he would be an ideal, perfect signing by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. But do you agree? For me, Ruben Neves could be that playmaker that sits deep but has the ability to break up the play and feed our attacks as well. And goals to boot, and he's 22. I mean, what's not to like about the idea of Ruben Neves at United? Let me know what you think. But if United don't go after him, I could easily see Man City going after him to replace Fernandinho. I think he's that good. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments below. 
If it wouldn't be Ruben Neves, who would be that midfielder to plug in alongside Herrera and Pogba to complete United's midfield? Or am I wrong? Is our midfield already good enough to win the Premier League? Let me know what you think in the comments below, as always. If you are new to United People's DV and you're still here, well done. Hit that subscribe button down there. Until next time, though, take it easy.